So Hugo Keenan has been given a central contract. I mean, <laughs> least surprising news of the year, I think. What 20, took them so long? <laughs> I know, 26 years old now. I mean, like it, it just shows you, you really do have to earn it because he's played in 27 of 29 games, mm. um, made his debut age 23. It is interesting that the IRFU, I suppose a parallel might be uh, a young player at a Premier League team, if he suddenly blossomed across 2020 into early 21 the way Keenan did, they would sit down straight away in part because the agent would be banging on the door and say, OK, obviously, even though you have three more years in the contract, we're going to upgrade you and treble your wages and sign a new four year deal. That doesn't seem to be happening in the IRFU corridors. It's Hugo. You'll wait until your contract's expired. Is that how it goes? Yeah, that's how it goes. I think I'm right in saying that the World Player of the Year is not on a central contract. So how much, like, would they be on dramatically less money? Than no, the they'd be on still pretty good money. Okay. But it would be better money for sure when they move to a central contract. No, they don't. They, they trimmed them back a few years ago and they've, kept, they've been pretty lean and mean about them ever since. I don't think Gibson Park's on a central contract either. How many players are on central contracts? I knew you were going to ask me that. Sorry, I think it's about 18. Why did you bring this? I think it's 17, about 18. 18. It's less. It used to be in the mid-20s. Yeah. Back in the day. So it's nothing like that anymore. I guess, I mean, if you're Hugo Keenan and you're at Leinster and you're being paid okay, mm. and yes, you would warrant a central contract, and they say, no, we'll give you one in two years, what are you going to do? What's mm. your leverage? Mm. You don't have much. The only leverage is, you know, I could go to France or England and get double, but then you're not going to play for Ireland. So they, they kind of have them between a rock and a hard place. I mean, there's going to be a scenario, I'm sure, that develops where someone who's a bit more commercially driven or hard-nosed may just jump. But it's it's not going to oh, burst the dam and yeah. everyone's going to leave. They just have it fairly rock solid. And that's yeah. why when they get Strong. criticised for only picking home um, players that play for the province, they get criticised for this, mm. like not picking Zebo and picking John Klein or whatever mm -hmm. else. Mm. But that's the overriding logic behind it. Yeah. Because if they, if they allow Zebo to go and pay, he plays for Ireland, well then what's to stop mm. um, a flight of wild geese proportions? Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's a tight ship, but I'd, yes, say, I'd, say there, I'd say there are some grumbles. But you hear the stories coming out of Wales at the moment, you might be bringing that up now, and like, yeah. like you have to say the RFU have, after being yes. dragged kicking and screaming into the professional era, once Tommy Kiernan and Sid Miller and people said, right, let's bring them all home and make them the four proud provinces, Irish rugby has taken off as a well-run ship. Uh, just, do, just on yes. Keenan, yeah. there was a WhatsApp a photo going around WhatsApp, you know, forwarded on many occasions, you know, you see these. And it was a team sheet from Blackrock College, his former school, under 14 C's, uh, a subs bench, Hugo Keenan. Um, and uh, it was nice to see because there's so many players currently, I've seen at 17, 18, 19, give up rugby when they haven't quite Pushed through to sub academy and yeah. academy and all the rest. There's a fellow now at 14, for any 14 year olds listen, who was sub on the C team. Like you can develop and change and adapt, um, and you know, you're still young, and that's a fellow who's just phenomenal at a later age. Yes. So it gives people hope, young lads in particular and girls, you know. Because you do have late developers as well as early developers. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. He's also the first player to come through the sevens program and win a central contract in 15th. Yes. First ever. The first fullback who runs like chariots of fire <laughs> in the great movie from 1924 as well. Ineatonio, uh, three match ban. He will, of course, attend tackle school. <laughs> I mean, it's good stuff. It's hard not to be cynical, all right. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, AKA the coaching intervention program, but tackle school. So he should be available for the 18th of March. I think it was six initially, down to three for, you know, helping people cross the road and stuff like that. Uh, he did admit it warranted a red card and. Uh, I don't know. I mean, is is three weeks okay-ish enough of a deterrent to make him think twice? It perhaps is. Do you need is to it three him? weeks or three games? It's three weeks. Uh, isn't it? I don't know if it's three games because he's back for the Wales match. Yeah, so well, that's well, around did, four. I think it's did, three weeks. Andy. Must be three weeks. Yeah. Then. So he's only two games. Top, top fourteen back. games are probably coming to his rescue. Mm. It didn't yeah. make him contrite on the field. He did one or two filthy tackles off the ball later on in the game. Did so, he? Yes, really? absolutely. He nailed the Porter, I think, off the ball at the side of a Can't have been that late on. He was off for 45 minutes or so. Well, it 50, later, yeah, but later. later. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. later. Yeah. It yeah. may not have been Porter. Yeah. He, he nailed someone. I just, was one of those moments, I just happened to, I mean, he's easy to notice on the field. I just happened to notice off the side of a rook. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a dirty challenge. Like, it wasn't, you could argue he got his timing wrong and his intent wasn't bad with the 
herring. You could potentially argue that, but 25 minutes later, when he's cheap shotting a guy from behind off the side of a ruck, he didn't show much contrition. So, tackle school better be on oh, point with him. Sit up the front row. Yeah, he'd be up the front. It's quite conflicting, isn't it? Because if he hadn't sent off the time, as he should have been, Ireland's win would have been completely devalued and decried. It would have been always against 14 men for 15 minutes, whatever it was. Mm. So at least now there's been some element yeah. of justice running. Because it had... To, it, if World Rugby are going to be serious about this campaign to make the game a safer place and rule out headshots, yeah. Barnes got it spectacularly wrong. And you would have thought, I was surprised, Joe, even when they issued this statement saying that Antonio was going to be cited, it even quoted the ruling and almost saying there and then, before the hearing, Wayne Barnes got this one wrong. And you could see from mm. Matthew Carlin's reaction as well that he seemed to disagree with him. What's the point of bringing in touch judges if not going to say well, anything? Well, it's true. Um, let's debate it another time because, you know, so he's sent off and it does rightly sent off it does ruin the spectacle of 15-15 one of the great matches we've ever seen it does make me increasingly think we should debate you know Matt Williams proposed it initially and I said that is ridiculous no 20 minute red cards are you going to say yeah or 20 minute red card and and absolutely you're not coming back so in the, so, something in this vicinity uh, we can tweak around the details Antonio makes the tackle you say to him this is the this is the new version of a red card where uh, France you're down to 14 men for be it 10 or 20 minutes and Antonio you're not coming back on yeah I think that's a really smart idea and there's a 3 or 4 week ban coming your way but we'll keep 15 against 15 minus the 20 minutes of 14 as a spectacle and just because rugby is now rightly moving to more red cards Matt's winning me always chipping away at me during these these games uh, every uh, spring it's making me think maybe there has to be a way to maintain the spectacle and come down very harshly on bad tackles now that the game is going to routinely give out red cards can I ask you go on you want I just think it's a good idea okay full can, stop we debated oh, again sometimes. can I ask you very one question very quickly about this yeah. Owen Doyle made this point in the Irish Times right World Cup final You have a, this rule comes into place 20 minute red cards Johnny Sexton is taken out by Uni Antonio and in the 20th minute and is off for the rest of the game mm. France replace Antonio at half time France go on and win the match just this is purely hypothetical not a great look for the sport, is it? That's no. also a good point. Although exceptional cases do make for bad law. I mean, that is mm. a disgracefully cynical proposition. But it's a... No, I'm not saying the France would actually do it deliberately. I'm just saying it's a product of it happening. Okay. But, yeah. I mean, there should still be maybe facility for if it's the most egregious, obvious, he's taken the head off sex in, in a deliberate way. Mm. Maybe there's a... That's a foul play. That's a red, red card, as opposed to the high shot red card... Oh, then we're getting into very complex territory, aren't we? It's we complex are, enough it's complex as it is. Yeah. I mean, you've got the black card in GAA and something you know, akin to yeah. that. in a yeah. third colour, maybe. A third I don't know. Colour, do you know what I mean, though? Just a key man, I just, John, yeah. just a key man, yeah. some team, yeah. is put out of the game uh, in the fifth minute. Mm. And the team that convicts, the, 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 is guilty of the red card, is back to 15 yeah, no, I, after I, 25 minutes. We were playing at the moment, Ross Brennan just come in and we'd win it anyway. Yeah, so. take out who they there want. Um, I think in that case, Jerry, there still has to be an allowance for proper red card that is foul play as opposed to you mistimed the headshot black card ok so ok so I'm thinking maybe, on my feet here a bit yeah, yeah ok so maybe bringing the black card you're thinking yeah maybe there you go that was Jerry and Andy the full podcast is available wherever you do get your podcast from you can download the OTB sports app you don't have to wherever you get your podcasts just search OTB rugby and you'll find the lads there in full you will also find Ron O'Gara there Brian O'Driscoll there and more besides <laughs>